Yes, yes, people. Yes, yes, people. It's your boy. It's everything, and we are back. And we have a very, very big guest today. I'll be real. I put it out of hat. I don't know how I did this one. I can't lie. It's your boy Abdullah, also known as. It's your boy Minus. Salam alam Duma. Ah yes, man. So basically, guys, I'm gonna run them through it. Yeah, me and him have barely spoken. Like we've actually saved getting to know each other for the camera. Yeah, yeah. So it's gonna be a good conversation, and you, as you can tell, I've got a fat smile on my face. I'm excited. I can't lie. I'm very excited. Yeah. We have Amigos Burger for this episode. As you can see, have you had Amigos before? I don't think I had. Uh, okay, I, I kind of did once, but it was only the fries and nuggets. Okay, so it's, it's not, not proper food. Yeah, like. proper. But yeah, so we're gonna dive into the conversation. We're gonna have some food, and I'm very hungry. Are you hungry? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Let's start, man. Dig in, bro. Whatever you want. Would you want to start with a burger? Well, I don't even know what is here, but let me just dig in for. Like... Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, cool. Basic guys. I'm gonna just be honest with you. I had to put a few boxes there to make the table look full. Really. <laughs> okay. Nah, I'm sorry, I bet you. No, nah, no, nah, it's calm. It's calm. But yeah, they're, they're the only empty boxes. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. Woo! So we have what chicken there? Yeah. Chicken here. What's this? We got chicken. barbecue wings. Damn, peri peri wings. Bro, stop. I can smell them. Yeah, same. Um, and then burger. I can't. I'm gonna get straight into it, bro. But anyways, bro. Yeah. How's your journey here, man? Thank you for coming, Walla. Like I really bro. do appreciate it, bro. I swear. From my place to his place is just like fifty nine minutes, but I had to take an Uber because. The uh, subway overground. Damn, bro, this is juicy. This looks juicy. The subway was closed, so I had to take an Uber, and it was like up to with traffic, it was up to three hours, man. So yeah. Damn, man, I apologize. Yeah, man, no lies. That's, that's a it's worth it. It's worth it, man. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, we'll see. Anyways, bro, let's get into it. Yeah. Um, the viewers that are watching right now. They've seen your face on their TikTok FYPs. Yeah. For sure. They can't not see your face. We're sitting with someone that has 7 million followers. That's a problem. You know that's a big number. You know? That's a big number. <laughs> that's a huge number, alhamdulillah. Like, huge, bro. How do you feel about that? Chat to me. That's a very serious question that I can't even really answer. But I would just say I'm excited. Mm -hmm. It's like... You know, in time, that type of joy of oh, hitting big numbers will actually fade away. Yeah. Because if you're not benefiting, fitting something good out of it, yeah, it's not really gonna be something exciting. So what do you mean by? But that? I'm really happy that seven million people are gaining so much joy from my video. Mm -hmm. That's something I'm excited about. But it's all big numbers at that. So I have a question now. Yeah. When you're saying benefiting something from from it, yeah. What are you talking about? Eat. It's, <laughs> it's calm, bro. It's calm. I'm the worst when it comes to eating, bro. These man know. Like I'm messy. But yeah, what do you mean by that, bro? So basically, it's about financially. Are you talking about Dean? Like, like dive into that a bit because I'm interested. Because me and you are in kind of the same boat. To be honest, I'll say Dean wise. Yeah. I'll say Dean wise. Yeah. And also, whether you're doing something good out of it, or basically, a lot of people just want to become famous to become like known. Yeah, to become known. Mm -hmm. To become to be known by so many big people, to be friends with so many big people, to get so much money just to show off. But which is like. Which they don't even know what the consequences are. Mm. You know, Allah. Yeah. They don't know what the consequences are. So much anxiety comes towards it, everything. You know, so many crazy things come. You have to pay. You have to pay something for that song. Alhamdulillah, all my days, guys. I, I, bro, basically, I, I went to Dubai recently. I just came back here. Yeah, and I, from I, I bought this mic just before I went. Half the vlog I recorded when the mic was off. And I just realized there's an on and off switch on this mic. Because I had that mic before. Yeah, yeah this mic doesn't have one. There's no switch, you just put it in and it's you on. You just put it? it in, yeah. That's so why I like that mic. So that's what I thought this one was. And I realized it's an on and off switch. But 
Yeah. Carry with what you're saying, bro, because again, I'm in the same boat. Like, obviously, I do social media. Mm-hmm. Obviously, I don't have seven million. Maybe we'll get there if Allah wills one day. If Allah wills one day. But I do this as a full time job. So wow. I understand the Dean Dean rising kind of yeah. balances, the yeah. financial balances. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. So when it comes to Dean, chat to me about brand deals. Brand deals? Chat to me about brand deals. Because a little birdie told me, hashtag Abu Bakr. <laughs> I don't really know what to say about brand deals, but because if it was me alone, getting brand deals is kind of hard because it depends on what type of brands that reach out to me. You know? So there are bare flipping brands that bring out weird products and they want me to promote it on my page, mm-hmm. which I know I'm not that type of guy to just wake up and start promoting things like vapes and that. I don't do that, so why should I promote it if it's kind of like, so, you know? So let's just say hypothetically, yeah. a brand comes to you, Yeah. 50 racks. 50 racks? 50 racks. For random brand new. Wallah, I would take it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no well, it depends on what type of brand it is. Wait, Wallah, I will still not take it. You wouldn't? Yeah. This one, is- no, listen. Listen. Okay, go on. Don't forget that. I have African parents. <laughs> nah, it's like it's not. It's not funny. Even though I was stupid enough to take it, or even though I was just looking at the money, I, bro, I could just get one slap through the phone. <laughs> it doesn't need to even be in person, man. No. So obviously, I'm a Muslim first and foremost. Before anything, before mm-hmm. creating content and everything, so sometimes we have to double think about what we're doing. Like, yeah, that's true. I'm not gonna say principle wise I'm there. No, but I'm just trying to like. You're trying. Yeah, yeah. It's conscious. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like you have to put yourself in that position where you just reject everything that is just gonna lead you to that. Because, yeah, I have so many people who will try to get in touch with me. Yeah, I have a lot of famous friends. So at some point they might be like, yo, come, let's have party, let's do this and that. Obviously, I know how it goes and I don't want to go there. And first and foremost, I don't like environments where like there's loud music. I don't know if it's social anxiety or something. I don't like places where like I there's... found my match, bro. You know what, bro? Yeah. Um, what's it called? You know music? Yeah. So a lot of my friends listen to music. Like I'm sure you yours do too, right? Yeah, they do for sure. I've never ever like gotten into music, and it's not even Dean related. Yeah. Like I've just not enjoyed it. Like it's weird. Like the only songs I know are TikTok songs because I'm scrolling FYP. No, as of recently, I stopped liking music that much. But before, I wanted to become a musician. No way. At the age of flipping eight. You can't believe it. At the age of flipping eight, I made a flipping song for the whole school. They were singing it. That's what they knew me for. They were singing it. I was in flipping yeah, flipping four, I think. I was bro. Year four. I made a song. My best friend was like, yo, we both made it. Because <laughs> I was very shy. I was very shy. And he could he knew some of the song because I had it on my book. I had it on my diary. So he sang the song to just motivate me to sing it. And then after all, he just took credit for it. Bro, I can't lie, yeah. It's yeah. weird because I've never gotten into music like that. Like even in the car and stuff, when I'm driving, just silence or podcasts or motivational speeches yeah. or in the morning, like the first thing I do is sorry, I seen. Like that's my, even if I was listening to music, it would be yeah, seen then music. Like I have to start with the yeah, seen. Like yeah. I just had this a habit. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. But I've not gotten into music. Like, are you the same? Yeah. Do you I, like? Do you listen to music? I don't listen to music that much. And loud music, I'm with you, bro, because I can't stand it. Yeah. The only time where I listen to music, yeah, is one if I'm in the gym, mm. and the type of music I listen to is just weird, weird. It's just like soothing music, mm. or I listen to podcasts. You know, it's like mostly Islamic uh, podcasts, like talking about how our like it's just talking about our lives. Mm. You know, there's this um, one of my big sisters just hooked me up onto one podcast. It was called Digital Sisterhood or something, bro. I was just taking a walk. I don't know. I wasn't feeling it that day. Just anxiety hitting and kicking in. Yeah. I'm like, let me just listen to this Digital Sisterhood that <laughs> she was talking about. Then I listened to episode one. Then I went to episode two. 
I went to episode three. It was just talking about mostly how our sisters were like sisters in Islam, what they're going through and stuff, yeah. and how everything is going on for also us, our ummah and stuff. So it was just kind of an interest. Now, bro, I just I might have to listen to that. Be real. Yeah, you should listen to that. You should try it out. Okay, before before you get into where you're from and where you was born, because I know that's a lot of people want to know. A lot of your followers. Do you want Kinder milkshake or Oreo? Pick. What are you feeling, bro? Kinder or Oreo? I'll go for Kinder all the way. I swear. I swear down. Say no more. Do your turn. <laughs> I know you wanted that. No, I didn't. Well, I've never had Kinder. You never had. That's why you wanted to try. No, I swear I went. I, oh. I, I don't like. Actually, I, I can't say I don't like trying new things. Cause that's my quote. Like, if you don't try, you never know. Yeah, you never know. Yeah, but I like sticking with when it comes to milkshakes. Like. To things I already know I will enjoy. Oreo, mm-hmm. you can't go wrong with Oreo milkshake, bro. Anyways, bro, yeah, yeah. where do you live? Bro. Where are you from? Chat to me. I'm from Nigeria. I grew up in Africa. I would just say I grew up in West Africa. Wh- where? Because I lived in four countries in yeah. West Africa. Growing up, I lived like half of my life in Nigeria. Then I went to Chad. What's that? Chad is like it's a bordering country. It's in West Africa. It's not far from. It's not far from Nigeria. It's called Lake Chad. Mm. Yeah, it's like after you pass through Cameroon. How yeah, how pass. was it? There? Like how was the upbringing? Upbringing was crazy because most of the uh, countries I grew up in were French. So oh, you speak French fluently. Yeah, yeah, I do speak not that fluent though, but I used to speak fluently. But lack of having friends who speak French around here. Oh. Yeah, it was kind of hard. But but in terms of like the life there, of course, it's, I'm 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 assuming it's completely different to over here because I'm from India. You from India? I was waiting for this reaction, guys. I was waiting. Wallah, I knew this was his reaction. But you're not fully Indian. But I'm fully Indian. Stop lying. I swear, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, stop lying, bro. I swear to God, bro. I'm fully Indian. Fully, bro. No, if you told me you're actually British, like full white, I would have agreed. No, nah, that's a stretch. <laughs> that that is a stretch. No, nah, no, nah, I'm not gonna Man lie. Man called me a Karen. No, 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 no. No, but Indian, bro. Like my mum's, my mum was born here, but her parents are Indian, and my dad was born in India. Oh, mashallah. Man. Yeah, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. I'm Muslim too. You know what I'm saying? Someone repeated it. Like None of the that. Hindu thing. No, no, no. Don't do that. Mm. <laughs> but yeah. Upbringing <clears throat> Africa versus. <clears throat> so when did you come here? When did I come here? I came here um, last year. Last year in July. That's when I came here. Raw. Wait, that means you haven't been here for a long time, bro. I thought you'd be here for time. Your English yeah. is on point, bro. Is it? Yes. Nah, I'm just. I, I just adapt to everything. Yeah, I like his English is on point. That's fair, man. That's mad still. Yeah. So now you're fully UK, live here, you wanna continue your life here? Yeah, not really continue my life here, but. Find a wife here. <laughs> Are you trying to find a wife here? Me? Yeah. What, like a British girl? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good, man. Sure I'll be real, yeah, man. No, my goal is not a wife here, but I'm just trying to. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna be doing my masters here. Oh, you still so you go uni? Yeah, I go to uni. Right. But not here though. I'm doing online oh, classes. Yeah, it's just that my parents live here. So oh, yeah. they're forcing you to carry on doing it, even though, even though you have seven mil on TikTok. No, they're not forcing me. I want to finish. I rate that. Yeah, bro. You know I didn't go uni. You didn't go to uni. That's I, crazy. Okay, man. so hear me out. Yeah, this will happen. Yeah, it was in college. And in college over here, like everyone applies to uni. This guy's a proper businessman, you see. He went, never went, bro. You know the vibes. Like, continue bro. with the story, man. Okay, listen. I feel like some of the viewers watching right now will kind of know my journey. If you've yeah. watched me from the start, but yeah. if you're new here, then you would know now. But I was in college. Mm-hmm. Wallah, bro, I knew, yeah, that I didn't want to go to uni because if I got a degree, I would never use the degree. Because I just didn't want to work for anyone. So I made my mind up there. And also, the second point is, like, I feel like back then I was very easily influenced. And if I went to uni, I knew that I would be doing mad things, bro. Like, yeah, that's for sure. Because I entered uni at a very young age. 
If I told you how old I was when I entered uni, you wouldn't believe me. How old? I entered uni at the age of 16. What the flipping? What the? This guy was a minor fam. <laughs> now, nah, even growing up in high school, most of my classmates were like two to three years older than me. That's crazy, bro. By the way, I'm just saying, the food is, alhamdulillah, so good. I can't now, this peri-peri like... chicken that I've been lasting on. <laughs> <laughs> bro, the food is so good, I swear. It's just a bit cold, because we yeah. haven't... Yeah, but nah, it's, it's still... It's still... Uh, it's still hot, nice. you know, it warms Your mouth warms it up. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I was going to say, I just decided, but I didn't want to go, man. And then from then, I started, like, letting properties. So that was my job, like, commis yeah. commission only, bro. So the only time I'd make bread, I'd make money, is if I did a deal... So it was very difficult. Like it taught me a lot of lessons, you know. Like yeah, for about four months, I didn't make anything. For four months. Four months, zero pounds, zero pence. And I'm, I'm working every day, bro. Okay, talk about yours. I talk about mine. I, I, I want to well, know. Like, that's what I, I want to know more of yours. Yeah, yeah, because, no, bro, no, you start because you have more followers. So I, you, I need to hear yours because I want to get inspired. So then I'll oh, basically, it. no, I have no story for YouTube. YouTube, I always wanted to start it. No, not YouTube, just in general. Bro. All right. In general, okay. My motivation actually came from my older brother. So do you know the oh, funny thing? Cute. Yeah, no, no, listen, listen, listen. It's like he always wanted to become this social media influencer. He was so inspired by Logan Paul. Like, every that's, time. I can't lie, that's my G, bro. Exactly. I love Logan. So basically, he always takes my... There's a camera my dad uses for his office. Yeah. So my dad, my brother always takes it and come like, yo, come, come, let's shoot a vlog. Yo, yo, come, let's take a video. There's so many times he went over the edge making random pranks. Yeah. I wake up at 2 a.m. seeing a guy trying to slap me. What the... F no, I'm not gonna lie. It was... It pissed me off. There was a video. Basically, this guy, I was just having a beautiful dream. Then, you know, about it was what, me and my mom in the car. About what, Abdullah? What, not, not, what kind of dream? No, what like, it's not that. It's not that cheap. <laughs> it was about me and my mom in the car. Okay. She was just taking me to, uh, like, to school. Then out of nowhere, I was just having a nice conversation with my mom. You know, then out of nowhere, I just had slap. Pow, pow, pow. <laughs> Bro, you know, I was like, why is she slapping me? Like, what? You know, I woke up and I saw light. I'm like, what? You know, it was it's just that the, 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 the room was dark and he got has the flash on my face. Because he's shooting a video. You know, I now smelled one perfume, like one smell, one stench. I knew so something was telling me there's someone hiding behind my bed. <laughs> Bro, I took my hand. I, I didn't even have to, have to check. I just had movement. You know, all of your distance just become intense. Your hearing skills, your smelling skills, your vision. Uh, yo, this, this guy is so sick at storytelling. Well, nah, nah, um, listen. I just jumped. I gave him three slaps. He was begging me to stop. But I just said, I, I kind of I kind of relaxed. I wanted to go back to sleep. I couldn't go back to sleep. <laughs> I got more pissed because I couldn't go back to sleep. Oh, that is funny. Then, bro, I just had to look for a belt at the end of the video that he was shooting. It was just one of the funniest videos because he was begging me to stop. I was like, please stop, please stop. I whooped his ass. Like, that's when the, the flipping video cut off. Well, it was actually on YouTube. Yeah, it was actually on YouTube. A lot of people... Is it like, there right now? Yeah, it is right now. Oh, if it's Johnny about TikTok... No, not even TikTok, social media. So social your brother media. inspired you, yeah? Yeah. And then, and then, where did it start? So when was the first piece of content on, and what platform was it on? And the first TikTok, uh, content I blew up on... TikTok? Was, uh, yeah, it was TikTok. But TikTok was, it was un unexpected. Yeah. The type of videos I actually started making, Allah, I don't lie, I, it was cringy videos. You know, them videos of like, you know, making... Not really, I don't I don't go shirtless and that. It's just like thirst traps, just smiling around, oh, bro, taking a video, like... looking fresh and that. That's the type of videos I started making. But I started getting cringed out because you know boys also have insecurity. He, he, he's, he's he's laughing, yeah, because that's like basically my <laughs> content. Until like two weeks ago. I changed yeah, no, my content no, like two no, weeks no, ago. I know, no. But but yeah. You look you look like them like them pretty boys. Hey, chill, oh, man. No, 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 it's, it's true now. When I, when I met him for the first time, he was like, hey yo, model. I was like, bruv, like. No, 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 no. If you go Dean wise, I swear the type of woman you see in the broad gym, like those ones chatting to you, what are you saying, B? Yo, come to Salam Alaikum, brother. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I'm I'm serious. Oh, uh, that's actually. Bro. Funny. But but so TikTok. Yeah. Made a video. And a few of them started doing well. Yeah, they started doing... No, they didn't do well. They were flopping. 30 views a day. One of my videos that blew up got only 12k in two days. 12k views in two days. I was so excited. So it didn't matter to me how many views it was, but 12k was just decent in the past two days. I got like 2k likes. 
I was so excited. I was like, I made it. You know? Then out of nowhere, I made a video of me getting pissed at someone doing something stupid. So everybody started liking. You know, I was just seeing numbers that I've never seen before. <laughs> I almost got a heart attack. No, listen. I was like, yo, 10K I views in 30 minutes. I, that's the that's the one I've, I've seen of you. I think yeah, it's is that it? one. Yeah, I think is it's it? That ah, bro. Yeah, I think it's that one, bro. Nah, voila. The first video that blew up, I went crazy. What video have you seen of me? Have you ever seen me on your 4 Yeah, I've seen your video, bare minimum things for boys or something. You know? Uh, he, I've seen so many videos. He knows, he knows. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think, nah, for the past, no. I think, I, way before I mean, you I mean, even hit me up, I've seen so many videos of yours. Oh, swear? I'm like, this thing, we already do it now. Why is it, it's bare minimum. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're not a lot of people who are very lazy. Bro, I can't lie, I just do it, yeah, because the videos do well, innit? So the videos do it, well, I know, I know, I know, man. <laughs> we do things that just do well. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a job for me, bro. Yeah. But, okay, cool. It's still better than them thirst traps, innit? So, yeah. Oh, yeah, I yeah. agree, I agree. Yeah. I was gonna say, how long did it take you to hit 1 million followers? A year? Two years? Six months? Two months? Four months? Three months? It took me three months to hit one million. Uh, what the? At eight hundred k, someone just reached out to me. He was like a big fan of me, and he works for TikTok. And basically, he but he works for Nigerian TikTok. At that time, I was in Nigeria, so he was like, "Yo, you want a verification, right?" And I was like, "Yeah." And like, okay, we will put put you on for verification. At that time, he usually works with like uh, Nigerian TikTokers for people who are uh, make content in Nigeria. That's why you see a lot of bare Nigerian accounts just getting verification at at fifty k, twenty k. Hey guys, listen, yeah. Nah, listen, listen, listen. listen. No, no, I know where you're going, but calm down, calm down. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> if you if I, you see me with a verification tick, just know that it happened after this podcast, man. Uh, it doesn't go that way. <laughs> <laughs> He works in Africa. Find your people here. I will go there, brother. Yeah, exactly. For that blue tick. Let's go. Let's go for a holiday. <laughs> but yeah, basically, I hit 800k. I got my verification. That's crazy, bro. Subhanallah. Like, that's I actually went big. crazy. I was Did you excited. cry? Nah, I didn't cry, man. Don't lie. Don't lie. Nah, like, don't lie. In your soul, in your room, yeah. you cried. Yeah, maybe I did. <laughs> basically, I was proud of myself. Yeah, it? of course, bro. That's because, a big deal. That's because, a and plus, deal. then out of nowhere, I got my first brand deal. So a lot of people say I should have charged a lot, bro. It doesn't matter. I knew where I, I started from. Bro, it, like they paid me like $120, bro. To me, $120 was big money. It's still big money. No, no, no. Well, like, because I remember when I had like zero, when I wasn't earning anything. Okay. And I saw so many of my friends who like earn money the wrong way. Either like, you know, they do the things the wrong way. And I was excited because I was... I've always wanted to make money. You know, it's interesting. Yeah, I was yeah. having a conversation with my barber today. Yeah, I went to get a trim, and he's like a friend of mine, so we have a chat. Yeah, and we were speaking about money, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, it's mad because it's not even about how much you earn; it's the way you earn it which is okay. satisfying. Like, you know, like as a as a man, as a yeah. man, right? Like, like we we like we ha we take pride in earning our money, right? Like, yeah. it's it's something that we what's the best way to explain it like you know what i'm trying to say like it's enjoyable for us is it halal yeah of course bro <laughs> <laughs> i was just saying <laughs> <isn't> it <laughs> <laughs> yeah um by the way that's banging if you want me to warm it up we can go warm it up mm -mm -mm, it's, it's are, you banging. are you sure bro mm -hmm. and it's like we work for ourselves right like mm -hmm. no one pays us except what we do kind of thing mm -hmm. and it's just nice to know that that's our effort giving us money no matter how much or how little that's our work do you agree? Yeah, I believe. I agree. Yeah. By the way, this is the owner's face. Isn't it that's hard? <laughs> is it? This is the owner's face, guys. This is so hard. He's the one that helped us with the, the free food. Thank you, amigo. And he just again. tagged his face on it. He's a real G, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> he put his own face on his cups. I can't lie. He is hard. Big shout out to you, bro. Big shout out to Migos. Big shout out to This amigo. Kinder is actually busting. The yeah. reason I don't like Oreos it's like you know the part after blending it regardless the particles of the flipping biscuit is just there it gets it gets, but i like that no, do you like, do you like orange juice with bits or without bits yeah with pop yeah i like it yeah it's, it's the same thing no, bro. It's it's not Oreo, this bro. Is flour <laughs> flour bro why do you want to be sucking up flour <laughs> but hey listen umrah i can't lie next time i'm going are you back in it 
Yeah, I'm back. Inshallah. Inshallah, man. I'm being serious, bro. Yeah, I'm being serious. I'm not capping. <laughs> you know, I'm on ticket everywhere. Ask him, bro. I randomly called him up. I was like, yo, you want to come in Umar? He's like, come. Random, bro. I'm trying man. to... Bro, you have to be selfish in this game, bro. The more people you take, the more benefit I get. Inshallah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> 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 tell, him you me. tell him what you told me. I wonder about. I was like, yeah, what about selfish? About what? About, oh, I'm being very selfish, but it's good. Oh, yeah, I was like, he, he was like, why did you call me and ask me to come Umrah? I was like, I'll be real, bro. I need the rewards from God, innit? So I'm being selfish and inviting everyone. Yeah, like. Exactly, man. <laughs> but that's how it works, though, innit? You have to yeah, be selfish good. towards good. Good, yeah, you have to be selfish towards, towards good. Towards. But, but, how's the food, man? Bro, it's actually busting, man. How long we been recording for, Ibs? I can't lie, I didn't even need the phone. Guys, basically, let me tell you, yeah. Usually, Never ever do I ever structure a podcast, but in the back of my mind, I thought, yeah, this brother, seven million followers. I was a bit nervous today, you know. I'm never nervous on my own podcast, bro. Today I was a bit nervous, I'll be real. And he comes in, he was like, bro, brush the notes, man. Let's just have a conversation, like. And I was like, that's what I usually do, man. But if I get stuck, I might just have to pull out the notes. But I can't lie, I think till now, it's been a very good conversation. Yeah, I'm a calm guy. Like, anytime you want to have a convo, I'm not that type of guy. You know, I kind of know some people that when they get famous, yeah. they leave you out, like, behind or something. Yeah, yeah, something yeah. like that. It's like the way they act towards their fans and stuff. Mm. When it comes to me, one, I have social anxiety. Maybe I'll run away I have from social my... social anxiety too. Yeah, when yeah. I have my, my, friends run, my, my, my fans running up to me, maybe I'll hide. You know, or maybe I'll feel shy. It's not because I don't want to see I'm feeling too bougie. It's maybe I'm shy and I'm also nervous. Most embarrassing fan experience. Chat to me. Yo, it's not embarrassing, but it's weird. Weird, go, go, go. One guy was wearing, you know that type of thing that bad boys wear? Whoa, that whoa. you only see your face, your eyes. Oh, balaclava, balaclava. Balaclava or something. <laughs> One guy wearing a balaclava just came up to me. He was like, bro, I'm a big fan, yeah? And I said, he just started, he brought up his camera, he hid his face. I was like, yo. What is going on? Are you trying to take my picture for a black market or something? <laughs> because I was like, yo, what he just brought, he just like, he just came like this. I'm like, bro, what? It looked so suspicious and it was weird. So I had to back off and walk my way. Because I felt like, yo, that guy didn't have any good intent towards that. <laughs> because there are a lot of people who just told me that I should be, like, I should be careful with those guys. Those type of guys. Yeah. Because they can use it for different teens, uh, things and stuff. I can't lie, what's mine? It was Juno, man. I don't even know. What's yours, man? Talk to me. Talk I to can't me. think. Obviously, I don't have 7 million bloody followers. Nah, it doesn't have to be 7 million, bro. <laughs> wait, wait. As well, far as I know, if you have. Have you hit 7 million yet, though? Nah, I haven't. I'll probably hit him, inshallah, this week or next. Oh, inshallah. That'll yeah. be so sick. But bro. I'll be so excited to hit. Yeah, inshallah. Guys! Yeah. I don't know what difference this is going to go make, but go follow him on TikTok. To yeah, please seven. go follow me on TikTok. Hit me to get me to, uh, to, to uh, 7 million. Hey, yo, Ibs, man, help me, bro. What's my weirdest? Because I know there's been a few weird You've ones. You've had, like, very crazy ones. Yeah. Where people mad. I remember yeah. one time we, was, we went to the Palestine protest. Oh, yeah. that, one, that, was, that was a bit scary. That was the first time. <laughs> yeah, literally. That was the first time. Time I've I was scared, bro. Yeah, that was the first time I met him. Yeah, it was the first time like he just hit me up on it. Uh, to, like, I was on Instagram Live, there was a few hundred people in there. Yeah, and he was like, Yo, bro, like I can record for you. I was like, Say no more, like, let's go. Like, I just brought him over. Yeah, first time I met him, we're walking in a uh, stuff from a park. Mm. I'm hearing like 15, 17 year old girls. I knew it would be girls. I knew it would be girls. I was like, yo, bro, what? But my face went red. I was like, yo, what am I doing? Like, I, I was so awkward. Like, everyone was I was like, yo, this is so embarrassing. There's bad people around. It's the first time. I'm we like, wanted to run, but he was like, yo, I cool. <laughs> yeah, man. It's weird, isn't it? Like, it's but weird. I'm more comfortable now. I can't lie. Like, it's over time I got used to it. But that was the first time it's really ever happened. Yeah. Do you remember your first time? I remember, bro. If it's fun, girls, bro, wallahi, I get shy and nervous especially when it's around guys so for girls it might be worse because it's like the way they come towards you is like they reach the top the top of their friends yeah they always say oh he knows it always, he starts, knows! It always starts with tapping the friend <laughs> You know, it's like me, you know, it's but sometimes you just want to ignore. Yeah. You just want to walk away. So that things like, because one person giving you attention, more people will be like, who is this guy? Yeah, 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 then yeah. they might get it. Then more people will come. And when you are trying to like, 
hurry up and go do whatever you're doing, it becomes too late. I'm not saying anything is wrong with that. Obviously, if I see someone like Kevin Hart, I'm going to go crazy. <laughs> like, hey! Like, bro, yeah, wait, Kevin Hart. Is that your inspiration? Nah, not Kevin Hart, bro. I love Bend a lot of Bend people, man. Ice Cube, bro. All them classy Ooh. guys. Will Smith. Bro, I mess with them ones. Okay. I'm I a big that. fan of them. Bro, if I was to see them out also, I'm not go crazy, but obviously I'll be very nervous. Do you watch football? Do I watch football? Yeah. Nah, yes. Kind nah, of. but I'm really good at playing football. Sir. Yeah, I'm a defender, bro. I break, uh, I break leg, I break legs. Defender. Yeah, yeah, I'm a defender. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't lie though, I'll make you though. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. 100%. We have to put this on now. We have to put this Next on. Next YouTube video, I might be just... Yeah, not gonna lie, I'm down for a match, man. Anytime. I, like I get that. I get exhausted I had, really quick because I have asthma in it. So I swear. Yeah, yeah I, swear. I had I had two or three knee surgeries. Sheesh. Yeah, football. Sheesh. Seven million followers soon, inshallah. By the time this goes out, inshallah, seven million. Yeah. Do you, what's the test of Allah? He gives people different tests all the time. You know, like some people are tested with money. Some people are tested with, you know, loss of a sister or son or death and. But then also Allah tests us with ego and pride. I'm in same position as you. Like I have loads of people watching me. You have ten times more people watching you. Mm. So what's what's that test like? And what has it like? What's the battle? Tell me about it. Cause I have my own battles with that. To be honest, it's not easy. As you prepare for tests in school, yeah. you also prepare. For for tests like from Allah. It's you true. Know? You know? And those these type of tests are not the ones that you can easily cheat on. So you can't cheat it's something this. that you actually have to go through in life. Yeah. So multiple of them have came through my way and multiple also come more are to come. So it's like this test is like something you're not prepared for. But it's also interesting because more yeah. time you learn from it when you, you fail the test. Yeah. So like the first time that thing comes your way, you've usually failed. Like your ego or your pride has gotten away, and then you have to do some thinking and and learn that okay maybe yeah. I'm thinking that I am someone. You know it's also interesting, yeah. Uh -huh. Do you not find it mad how God has destined you to be in this position? Like that's that's kind of mad. Even you for never me, no. You never know. I love my. Take it away. Take it away. In a split, like took it out of my mouth. Like this, that's something bro. I'm. I've always been prepared for. I'm not gonna lie. So you think? Yeah, it's like if he takes it away, what can I do? I have to just go on my life. I'm trying to get closer to him, innit? If he feels like okay, this is not a good path for me, he takes it away. It's just like a way of me like sacrificing. Mm. So many of the prophet stories they've gone through test. Mm. Come on, man. Right. But man, I'm not prepared for that, bro. I didn't go uni. <laughs> yeah, it's like regardless. <laughs> At least you have a backup, bro. I've got no backup, brother. Yeah. That's why my brother, I'm saying you should actually start. What, uni? Well, no, not uni, business. If you want uh, to go to uni, wallahi, that's all no, to no, you. No, 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 that's not happening. No. Nah. Okay, nah. I'll, I'll give you a business idea that I have Yeah. on camera, because I don't mind, because it's already- Put it on, put it on. It's already in the process, so it's like, I don't mind talking about it because, yeah, it's probably going to come out soon or, mm -hmm. or later, inshallah. Mm -hmm. um, I have friends, uh, very good friends of mine, people that I met up with in Dubai. Like the reason I traveled to Dubai was for business. They own like a very huge dental company in the US. So I wanted to start my own teeth whitening company mm. called Whitish. Whitish. Do you see what I did there? Whitish. <laughs> and that's good, isn't it? You have to admit that's good. <laughs> Yeah, man, that's actually a, wh a, yeah. a wise one. Guys, if you want to see whitish, drop it in the comments below. <laughs> like this when you video. Said, when you say whitish, do you know what I thought of first? Have anybody watched the series of uh, Blackish? Zara Shahidi is inside. Who's that? You have no idea. I knew it. Who's that? What's that? Black Blackish? Blackish is a TV show. Yeah. On Netflix? Yeah, Zara Shahidi is inside. Who's that? This is so Zara Shahidi, bro. Bro, you don't know. Okay. Bro, don't ask me questions. I can't like lie, that. bro. I know bro. the basic nef. Bro, what? I don't watch sh shit. I just work. <laughs> I swear, bro. bro. No, it's like, bro, you've never watched Blackish. No, bro. What the hell is Blackish? Bro, Black is a movie show about black people, man. A black family. Like, living their life. 
Uh, but it's, I'm gonna have to watch it. Yeah, American. It's Black History American, Month, so I'd feel good watching it right now. Yeah. Black oh, but, I was gonna say, racism. Have you ever experienced it on social media? Yeah, come on. It always comes through. A lot of my friends, they're from. I've got friends from Nigeria, Ghana. Yeah. They always have the jello to be. Like boys, to be honest, if I didn't even peak interest in or try to like try cooking, yeah, I'm sure I would have never learned how to cook. Because yeah, a lot of people I know or a lot of people I grew up with, mostly brothers and cousins, they don't want to cook. I don't mind in it, but you're winning you're winning a lot of female hearts by what you're saying, right? Nah bro, it's not even funny. It's not even funny. You know, I kinda did it because I was interested in it. It wasn't for any female. That's sick anything. though, man. Exactly, bro. It's like when you fall in love with something like a hobby. You just want to learn more, innit? Yeah. It's just like how you learn football and you see so many people like Ronaldo, Messi doing crazy stuff. You're like, bro, I want to learn that flipping technique. How do you get interested in cooking, though? Like, bro, it's because I, I live with my mom. I'll be real, I'm privileged. I'm just going to say it. Like, my mom, alhamdulillah, no, I love the woman so much. Like, she does everything for me. I'm, I'm also privileged in the sense that we had a maid cooking for us. Okay, but you are you here alone? No, not here. I'm talking about growing up, like, in oh, Africa. Oh, oh. Like, we had a maid cooking for us. I usually call her auntie, but she she cooked for us. But so many times I was like, bro, this don't taste right. When my mom don't cook, it doesn't taste yeah, right. It doesn't yeah. taste mom like my mom's cooking, is, cooking yeah. man. You know, the vibe, you know, every man. time I'll just go and sneak in the kitchen waiting for that auntie to leave the kitchen, lock the door, turn on. Bro, I've never, you know what I usually do? I sit down in the kitchen while my mom is cooking. I just sit down and chat with her. So in the sense that I learn everything, I take details like how she owns the flipping gas. No, because we use fire, we don't use electric. How she on the gas? Like one, tip one. It's like I'm reading in my mind while we're having a conversation. How is school? Hey, what did you do? Did you fight with somebody? Again? I'm like, yeah, I'm just looking at it. Because if my mom at that age knew I went to the kitchen, she would have whooped my ass. But she, yeah, I left some evidences in the sense I burnt, like there was something that was flipping frozen. I think it was flipping a cabbage. That's the bit it's in it. Yeah, that's the bit I was talking about. It's very annoying. It looks like dead ants. But yeah, basically, but I went, there was a frozen cabbage, you know, I like something, things crispy. Yeah. You know, there was a hot oil, I just turned on the gas and there was oil. Very hot oil. I took a frozen cabbage, like a piece, because I, I was in the mood of something crispy. Then I dipped the frozen cabbage, like there was ice literally on top. Bro, that combination scared my life. <laughs> I, I, I know, if, I, don't, I wonder how I'm still sitting here. Because bro, that thing just started splashing like bullets. <laughs> Bro, it started splashing like bullets. You know how a lot of people were just like scared of putting fries? Yeah, 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 fries yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, listen, bro, I didn't even take cover, man. I just had to take so, like, I, I have so many. But I see you cooking on live, though. Yeah, I do cook. That's man, it. sneaking in. Yeah, I, had to, bro, I, had to yeah. do, I had to do a bit of research beforehand. Like, I, I jumped on his live. It was yesterday. I think it was yeah, yesterday. I think it was yesterday. I was just, yesterday. I rammed it. I was yeah, this little, you know... With the little towel over the shoulder. Is it? <laughs> and it was on the line. I commented, but there was no way you've seen it. There was like 700 men in there, bro. Like, it's impossible, fam. Nah, bro, I wasn't even looking. I had to, like, check my food before something gets burnt. That's something about cooking, man. Your head doesn't have to be, like, one place. You have to always watch out for your food, too. You know, so. Little mistake, and boom. No, I'm actually so grateful for my mom. Random, but. Actually, like, like, but. We have I to actually, all be grateful. No, of course, bro, but, like. I, you know, thinking about it, this is me just being honest here. Like, I feel like my life is made like so much easier because of my mum, yeah. Because obviously, I work for myself and that. Yeah. I don't cook. I don't like. I clean my room, make my bed. Like that's my thing in it. Like the bare mm. minimum. That's bare minimum. Do you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, you have no, to no. do it. But like cooking, the dishes. Actually, it's dishes sometimes I chip in, but hoovering and that. Like I can't lie, my mom just takes care of it, and she works as well, bro. She works, bro. Like that's a strong mummy. Yeah, that's what I'm Mashallah. saying, man. That's a strong. I'm mom. saying it makes. I was just thinking it makes my life easier because you're here talking about cooking. I'm seeing the towel on your shoulder and that. Yeah. And I, I'm just working. I have a little sister, and sometimes I have to even wash the dishes myself. Bro, I swear. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not because she's supposed to. It's just because my mom gets it my on my ass. Don't flip and wash, bro. Bro, my, my, my childhood and your childhood, I wish I could switch places. But sometimes we have to learn it the hard way, you know? Yeah, be Because it's like literally you're just you're just chilling, yeah? Someone drops the plate in the like in the flipping sink. You're just chilling watching your your flipping Power Rangers or something. Someone will just enter with a flipping belt. Bro! Yeah, long day. I can't lie, I've got belt though. 
Uh, but, but my mum was the slippers thing. I yeah, yeah the slippers. The slippers. Yeah, yeah it's always started with the slippers. Anything that a mum can get near her, she would just throw it. The at slippers. You. Bro, just just. Or the I'm, pinch. Did you get the pinch as well? Bro, I didn't get the pinch. I got the slap on the neck. Uh, Man, it's like every, no, it's like you no me. You make a mistake talking in public. They don't care. They will uh, slap you. I got like, I got pushed down the stairs. <laughs> no, what that happened? I swear down, mom. I know, <laughs> but I know, mom. I know you're watching my videos. Don't ever try to lie to say you didn't do this. We both know you did this. <laughs> yeah. Nah, nah but, but that was crazy yeah. one. Because there was a time, even my dad. There's a time where like in a public, like public place, there's like so there was a Somali wedding. This guy just came up to me, say, Salam alaikum brother, what's up? I was like, What's salam alaikum alaikum salam? You know, we're just green, we're just talking. You know, I was waiting for my dad to come out of the toilet so that we could go out of that building. So my dad was already outside. He was on a phone call. The guy just came in. I've been waiting for it. You know, a lot of people were just looking at me. You know that type of moment when I, oh, kill me. <laughs> bro, bro, you know, it's like, I just acted like I didn't know who it was he was talking to. This guy, uh, you know, is, 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 bro, I can't lie. Your vibe is amazing. Wallah. Bro. You're a very positive guy, like. I'm going to leave the office happy today. Nah. That's the energy you have, I swear down. When it, when you're negative, like, okay, on social media, yeah? Yeah. When, if a post don't ban, you know when you put effort in a video, like everyone that we know that we've, we're creators, bro, we know what it's like. You know, like there's that one video you just spend a little bit longer on, you like it a little bit more, you hit post and just, the world sees it, but I don't know, man, it's got like 10K in like three, three nah, hours. it's not even 10K, bro. You're lucky if it hits 10K. Then what? My videos just get removed really quick. Swear, why like, though? Like videos that are supposed to be. <gasps> there's a time I actually hit 1 million likes in one hour. Hey! You know? Hey, you're famous! No, hey, yo, listen, you're listen, famous! Listen, 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 that's the craziest thing that ever happened in my life. That's crazy, so the, I don't know what, No, that's why I hate TikTok. No, that's. That's the reason why I hate TikTok. Everybody talks about how anger and this, bro. I don't need to portray it online or on social media. Yeah. But that day I got pissed. Why? Because I had to save that video repost. Because TikTok put it under review. After they put it under review, they deleted it. And they cut off my creative fund. The creative fund that I just literally started like yesterday. Uh, yesterday. It happens, man. You know, that thing pissed the heck out of me because they suspended it for like six months. I got one million likes. I'm flipping how many 5.5 million views and boom they took it off they took my video but they took my career for anything I didn't get paid for anything uh, you know I could have at least like you know that's a maybe nice. depended on creator fund yeah if I wasn't getting brand deals yeah no it, it happened, if I wasn't bro. getting brand deals I would have like at least depended on creator fund I think I think what's it called um and and guys if you don't know right now this is actually your test by the way Guys, we're gonna look there now because we've got two batteries that have died on us. Just been okay, yeah, and, and that one. But I was gonna say that's actually your test. We'll, we'll, we'll end it soon because also your Instagram. Yeah. So this guy's TikTok, they're violating him. Instagram is violating him too, which yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna help you fix that by the way, inshallah. No. Inshallah. Like, I, TikTok, just, no. I have a phone number. I, have, I don't even post videos that much on flipping Instagram. Yeah. So they disabled it. The only thing is like either someone hacked into it or people are reporting. I'm like, bro, why are you reporting my account? I've never like done any hate videos. Yeah. I can't lie, TikTok, the only reason TikTok was moving very funny was with me was when the whole Palestine thing was happening because I was posting yeah. a lot. My videos kept getting banned, taken down, yeah, everything. And, videos. and they were blowing too, by the way. Like the back then, my the Palestine, it was hot. Like it was a trend, you know, like as much as we wanted to share it, it was also like a social media trend. So it's like I'm going to the protest, making vlogs and stuff. Yeah. Blowing videos like at that stage in my life were doing very very well. Yeah. Same thing. Under review, deleted. See, I don't even want to say this, but I feel like sometimes I don't even know if TikTok is Islamophobic or racist or something. Because there was a time, there was a time I'm like there are three videos that I wanted to post of my recitation. I have another account called I Love Me Now. And if you guys are wondering, description below. Yeah, that's where I usually post my recitation videos. So every time I post my recitation videos, they deleted and then i put like um terrorism act or something 
But I was like, hold on. Yeah, no, I th- hold on. It's happened to me as well. Hold on, boy. I swear, I swear it's happened to me. I swear, I swear it's not even cap. Like you guys are telling people to watch out with what they do. You're supposed to be watching out what you do. Yeah, it's well, mad. Nah. Aside from cameras, it was actually a pleasure having you here. Nah, nah. A conversation pleasure being here. Yeah, the conversation banged, bro. Like, yeah. like it went a lot better than I expected. Like, I was a bit nervous. Yeah. Like going into this because I've never ever done a podcast with someone I've just met, ever. Like, I have this thing where I, I always say to everyone around me, I just want to record with people I'm comfortable with. I was like, let me just test, try something new. If you don't try, you never know. You never know, man. And but, plus, I like podcasts. I've always been willing to hop on podcasts to just have normal conversations with people. That's it. Since I literally started re- listening, to that, listening to that podcast oh, yes. I was talking yeah, about, yeah, yeah. Digital Sisterhood, yeah, that time. But it's been your boy, everything. Not a bag. It's your boy Minor. It's your boy Minor. And and your boy hands, yeah. Check out our socials down below. They're gonna be on the screen. Everything. We hope you guys enjoyed the conversation. The food bang. Everything was good. I feel happy, man. I'm gonna leave this po- podcast on good vibes, bro. Thank you for that again. And on to the next episode. <laughs>